Hi everyone. Welcome back to Order 15 Development Tutorials. In some cases, we require some kind of fields which are calculated from other fields. So, order provide a solution for it that is the compute function. A compute function is declared just like any other regular field along with the additional argument compute. So let's check with an example. So let's go to a custom module travel management. In this module, we can create the traveling records. So let's add a name for our trip and then destination and the number of days and the amount per day. And here we can define another field such as total amount which is a product of number of days and the amount per day. So let's calculate that field automatically as a product of this two one. That can be declared using the compute function. So let's check with that, that example. So let's go to PyCharm. So in the PyCharm, and here let's define that field. I am defining it as total amount. Just like as a integer field. And then just giving it string as total amount. And the first thing, first step in the compute function is that we need to define that compute function along with the field. Just compute that is equal to underscore compute amount. We can define whatever the function name that we needed. I am just defining it as compute amount. And then let's try to return the function. So first thing that we need to add it is at API dot depends. For that we need to import API from Odo. At API depends it is an API operation. It depends on some other field of same table or some other table. Which means uh, our total amount will depend upon the number of days and the amount per day. So in the API depends operation, we can add those two fields. That means whether one of the field get changed, it will depend upon the uh, total amount that we are going to compute. So at here, I am giving number of days. And then the next field that is amount per day. And then let's define our compute function, define compute underscore amount. That is the function that we have declared in the field. And then we can loop through each records for rec itself. And then just I'm giving this condition as if uh, the rec dot number of days is available let's define the amount that means rec dot total amount that is a field name equal to rec dot number of days and the product of rec dot amount per day And uh, let's add an else condition. For instead of else condition, I am just in adding it as rec dot total amount equal to false. It is for the condition that means if there is no number of days is given. It is the simple compute function that we need to add for getting the total amount. And then we can add the total amount field in the XML also. At the XML inside the form, I am just defining that field field name equal to total underscore amount. So this symbol compute function gets the uh, returns the value of total amount as the product of these two fields and also it depends upon the number of days and the amount per day which shows any changes for these two fields number of days and the amount per day will depends upon the total amount. So let's see how it works. So let's run the pie charm. And then upgrade the module. So that here we can see that uh, it will shows the field total amount, which is as a product of number of days and the amount per day. So likewise, we can add the uh, compute function for calculating uh, the 
uh, calculating the value of other fields as a, as like as a sum or anything the uh, operation that can be done so this explains how works the compute field and then the at api depends operation in order 15